Some final words from Coach Jim Turgeon wrapping up a tough 78 to 75 loss against New Mexico State. Two tough losses to start the season. What's the message to the team after tonight's game? Well, at some point, the, the kids got to figure it out, you know. Um, we're making a lot of mistakes out there, and, and I, can, I can adjust it and teach them and keep teaching them. But at some point, they got to figure it out. And um, we worked so hard to come back in that game. And then when we finally got the lead, we just, again, we're just uh, breaking down and, and making silly mistakes. But uh, I think this team will get better. Um, but it's very, right at this minute, it's very frustrating. I can understand. I, I can tell the, the feeling in your voice. When the game is going well, when you're making those 11-0 you know, runs, what are some of the things that you look at that you think are things that you can build off of? Well, it's one thing we haven't been doing, I don't think we've been sharing the ball enough, and I thought during the run we played like, we're, like my teams have always played in the past. We play inside out, share the ball, and once we started doing that, we finally hit a few threes, but, you know, we were six for whatever, and a lot of times in our threes, we're, we're just jacking it up, uh, not even in any – I mean, our teammates don't even know we're going to shoot it. So um, when we – so the good things, when we were playing together and playing inside out, I thought we were pretty good offensively. And then at times when we made the run, we, got, we rebounded the ball, and I thought that was good. Now then on the flip side, when New Mexico State makes their type of run, what are the things you look at and see – hey, when we get into Summit League play, we can't have this happen. Well, you can't have against the, uh, number 30, number 23. You know, and we knew they're really, really good. And you can't have breakdowns on defense. You know, um, we had a, uh, something that we were going to try to do to slow them down. It wasn't working great, so we made some adjustments. And uh, it worked at times, and at times we didn't do it right. So um, you in the Summit League, you cannot do that. The teams are too good, too smart. Um, you got to be able to make adjustments on the fly, and and right now we're just not we're we're not there yet. But some opportunities in non-conference play to work through those, especially having a lot of games at home, the tournament over Thanksgiving that I know you enjoy particularly. This team, you have a couple of freshmen in the starting lineup. You have a couple of seniors in the starting lineup. You also bring Brianna Johnson back. So a lot of new pieces that have to come together. How? Did they come together before the season, and, and how does it look through the first couple of games? Well, I thought in preseason, I thought we were coming together really nice because that's an interesting dynamic. Our freshmen are really talented, and then we got our seniors that have been with me for three years now. And um, I thought we were getting there, and then as soon as we went to the exhibition games, I, I didn't think our chemistry was there. Um, I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> Is it a sort of a, a game time thing versus a practice thing? I, I think – Absolutely, it's a game time thing. You know, it's you know it's a big jump from high school to college, and and uh, realizing every possession counts defensively and offensively. Offensively, you can't take a play off, and uh, you know for me substituting people in and out, it comes down to trust. And if you're not if you're not doing it in practice, I can't trust you put put you in the game to do it right. And I've had to play some players quite honestly uh, that I really don't quite trust yet. And that's not unusual when you have some young players. But, um, you know, we just we got to figure it out, uh, you know, sooner than later. Well, to figure it out sooner than later, what's the agenda going to be this coming week with Wyoming on the horizon, Cal Poly on the horizon? What are some of the, the things that you're going to try and work on that we'll look for improvements for in the next game? Well, first of all, Wyoming's going to be the best team we've played so far. You know, no disrespect to UMKC and New Mexico State. They're both, they're both going to win a lot of games. But Wyoming's very talented. So, so what we're going to work on is uh, mental, really mental breakdowns in practice. We're going to hold the kids accountable in practice to, to do the right things, whether it's on defense or offense, you know. There's a lot that goes into it. You know, we just don't throw the ball out there and go score 78 points or something like that. There's a lot that goes into it. And the only way you can do it is in practice and hold kids accountable and, and try. And then and the coaching staff try to find a way to make it easier for them if you can. And um, sometimes that's hard to do, but, you know, that's obviously something I need to do right now. So that'll be a good test this Thursday against Wyoming. And looking forward to following all the successes that this team has had in their first two years under you to see if the program can continue to build. Thank you, Coach, for joining us, and we look forward to following you this season. All right. Well, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. That'll do it from Magnus Arena, and the Pioneers will return against Wyoming on Thursday. Have a very good rest of the weekend.